Hi, we're here at the uh, Connecticut Weather Center with meteorologist Bill Jackelman. He's the man of the hour because when bad weather hits, you're going to hear about it from the Connecticut Weather Center. And a lot of people are talking about Joaquin. Yes. That's the big thing. Big this, this whole week. Now, veering to the right, I mean, we're shooting this on a Friday morning. Shooting to the right, shooting a little more towards us, it's still kind of up in the air, isn't it? Yeah, it's something that we can't, until we see this storm really make a turn, Bill, we, the bets are not off that we may or may not have the storm. I mean, it, the chances are good it's going to go out to sea, but until it does that, we really don't know. Hurricanes are unpredictable. We're doing, as you said, it's Friday morning. We're talking about Sunday, Monday at this point, which is a long way off. So we have a ways to watch it still. So if it turns out to see you're the hero, if it doesn't, you're the goat, right? <laughs> <laughs> well, no matter what happens, we're going to lose. Some people like the storm, some people don't. Uh, it's a tough call with a hurricane. Certainly, I think anyone wants a hurricane. We're getting rain that we need. We don't need a hurricane, certainly, to go along with it. Right. Now, you have all the stuff here that uh, monitors the hurricane, and, and it's kind of interesting as far as the path of the storm and how it's tracking and uh, different uh, highs and lows that will affect it, right? Yeah, it's kind of a squeeze play between you know the bright reddish color here, which is really dry air, on each side of the storm. But right there is Joaquin, and he's going to be forced between these two areas of red right up the Atlantic seaboard. Now, the, the uh, hurricane center, what the upper level winds say, is that this spin here is going to actually kick the storm out to our south, is what it's saying. However, if these do not, if the storm does not turn at the right time, it could come right up the Atlantic seaboard because it's a powerful category four storm. And when they start moving above 15 miles an hour forward speed, they are just on a beeline wherever they're going. They don't normally turn. And we saw that with Gilbert, for example. Um, back in the 80s. So again, we're watching these two factors. This one's pushing uh, Joaquin a little bit to the northwest, which he's moving now northwest, but he's going to make that hook. We know he's going to make it north, and then will it continue to hook around, kind of like you're being catapulted around this eye, and this thing kicking it out will be good. But right now, the moisture, as you can see, comes from Joaquin right up the coast across Connecticut. That's where we're being the rain right now. Now, would it be a Category 4 once it makes its turn up, or will it... Uh, it's going to die. Up. Yeah, it's going to die up pretty quickly. Category 4 is pretty monumental. Yeah. It's because it's very warm down here in the Bahamas, a lot of warm water. It's perfect for strengthening. For us, our water temperatures are too cool, at well below 80 degrees. So once he comes moving up the coast, unless he's moving fast, like the 1938 hurricane has to be moving at 40, 50 miles an hour, it'll lose its strength before it gets here, similar to what Gloria did 30 years ago. Mm -hmm. So, um, again, a lot of the radar we're looking at now, this is the radar over here. You can see that the other green in the south, that's moving in. That's not from Joaquin. That's actually just a front stall to the south, and that's going to be giving us a lot of rain. So we have had a lot of rain. The northeast winds are because there's a high to the north and Joaquin to the south. So it's raw and damp here on a Friday, but this wet weather is going to slowly be pulled out to see with the hurricane exiting, if in fact it misses us for Sunday, Monday. So either way, we get wet. We need the rain. We do need the rain. on how much rain we get. Yeah, and the big problem with the winds is that we haven't had many big storms at all this summer. It's been very quiet. So now any wind we have, 30, 40 mile per hour gusts, even not hurricane related, may cause some power outages and stuff right into the early parts of the weekend. All right, that's the latest from the Connecticut Weather Center. Well, that's your line, isn't it? Oh, that's okay. Go ahead. Go ahead. Now, finish it up. Oh, from the Connecticut Weather Center, I'm meteorologist Bill Jackman with Bill Trotter.